Hi everyone, Chris Natsky here with Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching with your Mind of a Champion Tip of the Week. You know, I'm, uh, I'm giving this to you this morning, just a couple days removed from my good friend Gary Barnes' Business Mastery Breakthrough Bootcamp. I've uh, been blessed for the last, I think it's six or seven years to uh, be part of uh, Gary's speaker staff for this awesome event where I do a board breaking experience for the people who are in the workshop and I always love going to this because not only is, is Gary a, a great friend and a mentor but he's also got some amazing uh, you know drops of wisdom that he always imparts on us as well as you get to hang out you know for three four days with a great group of people and one of the things that I always uh, gain from this experience is I use this as a time to kind of slow down and step back and take a look at not only my life but my business and see where I want to make some improvements, I want to make some changes and just kind of take an inventory of where I'm at. And I was doing that over the last couple of days and that's what brought me to this video because as I was kind of reviewing what I had just gone over this last weekend, uh, it came into my awareness something that uh, came present for me a couple, three years ago when I was introduced to a book called From Me to We by two brothers uh, named Mark and, and Craig uh, Kyleberger. And what they talked about in this book was this concept of intrinsic versus extrinsic goals. Intrinsic versus extrinsic goals. And what they talked about is, you know, the differentiation between the two is intrinsic goals are kind of those goods for the soul. I mean, it's, it's what our goals in terms of the type of people we want to be, the type of relationships that we want to have, the type of health and wellness that we want to experience. And then of course the intrinsic goals are kind of the worldly goals. You know, how much money do we want to make? What do we want our business to look like? Uh, what kind of house or what kind of car do we want to have? And <clears throat> each one of those goals or both of those goals, there's nothing wrong with either one of them. Both are good. But the distinction they make in the book, which I thought was so profound, is they talk about the idea that when we get really clear and we work on our intrinsic goals, that a natural progression is for our extrinsic goals to come into our lives. And what we oftentimes do in, in our lives, I know I'm definitely guilty of this, is we focus so much on the worldly uh, goals, the extrinsic goals, and we lose sight of the intrinsic goals. So in many ways, we kind of get it all turned around, it's all backwards. So it made me think, okay, Chris, coming off of this experience with Gary, where I'm, I'm kind of in a reflective mode, how can I take a look at really leaning into my intrinsic goals that I have for myself? That can then, of course, uh, positively impact my extrinsic goals. So I came up with three uh, ideas that I want to share with you because I think that these uh, are powerful ways for us to lean again, again to those intrinsic goals so we can get what we want. And number one is to, is to slow down. Oh my gosh, we're constantly moving, aren't we? And you know, it's, it's often been said that, you know, we're not human doings, we're human beings. But we spend so much time doing. So when we slow down, what we get to do is we, we get to take a step back and, and really look at things objectively, what are going on in our lives, because we get caught in that treadmill that we're in so much action that we get detached from what's really important to us. Sometimes that comes in the way of vacations. Sometimes it might come in the way of a business boot camp like I did. Sometimes it might just be when you're sitting there each and every morning and just reflecting on, on what you want to create for that day. But it's taking some time to slow down. So my question for you is, are you doing that? Are you taking time each and every day to slow down and get in touch with what is really important to you on an intrinsic level? Number two is get honest with yourself. Ooh, this sometimes is a tough one, right? So when we slow down and we begin to take that inventory, sometimes what happens is we see things we're not really happy about. And what's so interesting though is, you know, it's often been said that there are two things that motivate us as human beings. It's pain and pleasure. <laughs> and so I, the reason I say that is when we slow down and we start taking this inventory, there may be some things that we don't like what we see. But the point is, is that we can use that to our advantage. If there are things that we're not happy about and things that maybe we're not pleased with how we're showing up, we can use that as a catalyst for change. Because change is just one step away, at least the beginning of change is, right? We always have the power to do that. And it's often been said that the first step in transformation is awareness. 
And so when you take that inventory and you get honest with yourself, now what you can do is you can take steps from that place in a more empowered and a more expansive way. And le that leads us to number three, which is just that. It's about taking action from a new perspective. You know, many times when we have new awarenesses though, what we do is we, we like lean into, into taking massive action. And there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, sometimes it's what's necessary. But what I find is when I get all you know, hyped up about something, I start trying to make tremendous changes and uh, you know, like on a dime, they might be impactful at the beginning, but they're not sustainable. Let me say that again. They're, they're impactful at the beginning, but they're not sustainable. So what I always look to do in my life, as well as uh, what I'm working with my clients is, what can you do, what can we do to take small incremental steps on a consistent basis each and every day to bring those changes to fruition? Because when we, when we lean into things maybe too hard at the beginning, it's almost like being on a rocket ship that's attached to a, uh, to a rubber band. And we get out so far and then we come snapping back to earth. And then what happens is we kind of get back into our old habits because it's either too painful or scary to go out or it just feels too comfortable to stay with where we're at. So my point is, is make your intention on where you want to go, the changes you want to make, and then do them on an incremental basis. But above all this week, I'm going to challenge all of us, yours truly included, is to take a look at what we want to create in our lives and our businesses from an intrinsic standpoint. The relationships we want to have, the feeling that we have of fulfillment in our work, uh, our health and our wellness, not only physically but on a spiritual level. And from that place, take action and then also see that when we focus on those intrinsic aspects of our life, how the extrinsic things that we want just begin, uh, begin to come to us in a really smooth and wonderful way. So that's my message for you today, my friends. Where are you going to be able to lean into what's intrinsically important to you so you can experience the extrinsic things that you want in your life as well? So this has been Chris Natsky with Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching. As always, if you got value from this, please like, please share, please comment, and we'll see you next time on the Mind of a Champion Tip of the Week.